So I'm going to compare the recovery speed between the 278 and the 277, and the 277 has the SP22 coil on it. And I'm also going to adjust my iron volume. And I had a video out, or I didn't, I didn't ever post a video because I lost it. I lost like 1,500 videos. 1,500 videos. Um, I had a hard drive failure about a year ago, and I lost. That was one of my videos that I had lost. But it, this is a very important video. The recovery speed. Um, is affected greatly by your iron volume. And I'll show you that. I'll compare these two and I'll sh show you this new, uh, it's actually not new, the, co the carbon fiber shaft there, it stiffens the simplex up a lot. It's, look at how stiff it is, right? And this shaft, this lower end shaft here has about 22,000 hours on it. See, see how much it bends? And with this heavier coil here, the SP22 coil, it's why it's, it seems heavier. It's just because um, it's so heavy down here on the bottom. Let's look at these coils here. A lot more glue in that that one there, right? Because you have all this all this epoxy in here, and this big big area here has all that epoxy in it. And there's no there's no uh, there's no side. There's no um, supports here, and this this one right here, um, it has a lot of plastic here, not a lot of epoxy. See how small this coil is compared, um, the SP28 coil is compared to the uh, SP22 coil. So it just seems heavier to me for some reason, but I'll show you this recovery speed deal. And I'll start with the SP22 coil. I got a quarter, penny, nickel, Dime, penny. And I'll change the uh, modes here. I'll tr turn the machine on first and I'll show you how greatly affected your recovery speed is by your iron volume. And I had this video, I'm surprised that I haven't made another one, but um, I'll start out in park two mode. Park two is the fast recovery speed not nearly as deep i would i would say that they're about as deep uh all three modes you know that the field the uh park one and park two on both these machines here except for the the sp28 the sp28 the uh, field mode is is the deepest i'm gonna swing fast i got a full gain my iron volume is at no i'm in the war zone here so there's a lot of iron underneath all this stuff so it'll be kind of noisy with it with the iron volume jacked all the way up and i'll Put the iron volume at full bars here, right? Park two, hitting all five of them, right? Now I'll drop the iron volume down to two bars, which which I prefer on all my simplexes. Hitting all five of them, no problem. Now I'll drop it down to one bar. See how it's just a little bit affected, not too much. Now I'll go to zero iron iron. I'm having to swing a lot slower to hit the all five of those targets, right? See, sounds a lot different. Now I'll go to raise my iron volume up to two bars so I don't mess it up. Now I'll go to park one. Check my iron volume. Iron volume is all the way up. Look at that, hitting all five of them. Super fast recovery speed. But you hear that, that nickel Right about where that nickel's at, it's giving me a, a grunt. See, I'm getting a grunt. I'm, I'm getting a lot of grunts there because my iron volume's all the way up. But I'm getting a lot of grunts on there, so. The recovery speed on the Park 1 is, is super great. I mean, it's what I want, you know, and... But the iron volume, I can't have the iron volume all the way up. It's just too too loud, right? Now we'll drop the iron volume down at two bars and watch this. It's giving me clicks for those targets. It's not giving me a tone, it's giving me a click. But it's hitting all five of those targets still, still at two bars, right? Two bars. You can hear all five of those targets coming through in park one. Here's one bar of iron. See, I'm getting not 
nearly as crisp of a tone. The clicks aren't nearly as, as uh, pronounced with that. Now I'll go down to zero bars and I'll show you. It's greatly affected by it, watch. It's giving me like two, two clicks in there. It's giving me two hits on those coins there. So the iron volume has a lot of impact on your recovery speed. And now I'll go to field mode. Let me jack that, uh, jack that um, iron volume up a little bit to two. And now I'll go to field mode. And I'm getting all different tones on there because those coins are different sizes, right? And my iron volume is at full gain. It's still hitting all five of those. It's, it's kind of hard to hear, but it's not hitting it very good though. I'm just swinging way too fast. Now I'll drop the, that um, iron volume down to two bars. One click. I'm getting, actually I'm getting a couple clicks there. They're, they're a lot, um, they're a lot harder to hear with that iron volume go, going down on my iron volume. So I'll drop that down to, to two bars. I'm in field mode. It's still hitting them. It's still, it's actually hitting them a little bit better. Now I'll go to one bar. Now it's, the recovery speed is affected, right? Less recovery speed. Now I'll go to zero bars, field mode. See? Greatly affected by your iron volume, your recovery speed is. Now I'll go with the SP28 coil and just tear it up, man. Get that twig out of there. Yeah, my backyard is all crashed on before the ice storm. I had a tree fall on the shed there and crashed on my table and chair and stuff. So I'll go over to park two, jack it all the way up. The gain is all the way up and I'll start with the iron volume and I'll actually, uh, I'll go to uh, ground balance it here. 30s, 20s, 50s, it's fine with me. Three bars here, park two. super fast recovery speed. Now I'll go to two bars, which I prefer, two bars. Here's one bar. Now here's no bars. It doesn't affect it too much. The iron volume doesn't affect the uh, SP28 coil too much. Um, once you start getting down to the lower iron volumes, now I'll go back up to my normal settings here. Two bars. Now I'll go back to, or go to park one. Check the iron volume. Start out three bars here. Hitting all five of those targets, big time. Two bars. It's hitting all five of them kind of good. Now I'll go down to one. Look at that. Just greatly affected the iron, the, sep the separation. Recovery speed. Zero bars. It's still hitting it, but it's giving me clicks. It's not giving me tones. It's actually giving me a click there. Now I'll go up to my normal settings here. Two bars. I do that because next time I turn on my detector, I want to know that the iron volume is at set up my preference here. Two bars, always, always at two bars with, with on all my videos. Iron volume is all the way up in park one or uh, in field here. I know I'm swinging fast, but I, sw I swing fast with the simplex anyway. And now I'll go to two bars. Hit it a little teeny bit better. Now I'll go to one bar. Now zero bars. Didn't really affect it too much, right? Didn't really affect it too much. 
And with the simplex, you know, I, I made this video a while ago and <clears throat> I actually made a, a few of them with these same types of tests here, but I lost those videos. And I've just been wanting to do this, this video over again. And uh, I actually did it with the SP24 coil um, instead um, because I didn't have the SP28 coil at the time I was making th those other videos. But there we have it. The recovery speed is greatly affected by your um, your iron volume. And that's why I have it set at two bars because it runs stable at two bars. You know, if, if, I, ha if I jack the iron volume up all the way, um, you get those grunts, you get those grunts on those those uh, coins if you're swinging fast over that target, um, especially with the SP22 coil. That's why I don't kind of don't prefer that SP22 coil because I get a lot of double taps on that surface stuff and it's just a little bit harder to um, harder to pinpoint. You know when you have a lot of beeps going on um, with the SP22 coil or the SP28 coil, the stock coil in the simplex. I think performs excellent, man. In the iron, it performs great for going deep, and it performs great for going shallow. That's one place where the S, where I've found out, in my opinion, that the SP22 coil really lacks is those surface targets. Those surface targets are super hard to pinpoint, um, especially when the, when I have my gain jacked all the way up here. And but this is this recovery speed test. Um, if you're adjusting your iron volume a lot, um, you're gonna, you're not gonna learn as fast with that one setting. You know, if you can just find a setting on the simplex that you prefer, and there's not really a lot of settings to learn on the simplex, but the iron volume has a lot to do with your recovery speed. And I, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't made this video again, but um, there we go. The recovery speed is affected by your iron volume. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.